In episode one of Whatever It Takes, we met NJIT women's soccer coach Allie Nick and her Highlanders as they traveled to training camp at Golden Goal near Lake George. The team held two-a-day practices and bonding activities to prep for the regular season. It's rough. <laughs> it's you're tight, you're sore, you're tired. Like you push your bodies to the limit when you're in high school and stuff. Like you push your bodies, but you don't like break. Like here, you push your bodies to, to the limit, you break, and then you like see that you like each other build up. a new limit. Yeah. Push it out, push it out. Super important to have a strong core. So it's really important as a goalkeeper to have a really strong core at all times. Having a strong core really helps us get up quickly. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> We're all like trying to like get our minds off of it, sing songs. As you can also tell, it's a definitely a team effort, so they're all keeping each other up as well as themselves, you know, encouraging each other. Uh, you guys. You're all good. She you pushed hard. She pushed hard. Come on, come on, get up. Up, up, up. There wasn't any disagreement as to who the leaders are on this year's team. Second year all A Sun performer Ariana Gerber and fifth year senior goalkeeper Karen David. And then when we're in our huddles, her and Ari are like, they, they speak up as our captains, they, they do. It's a better team here, let's show them. They always put in their best effort at practice, they're always talking to us. Yes, Nicole, stay here. Yeah, force right, force right, force right. They put the team first, they're the definition of putting the team first. And I feel like everyone respects them and their opinions, and we always just. It just brings people together. So one step, one step. They're kind of talking to keep the team um, up and keep the team in like a good rhythm. Yeah, stay tight, key, no turn. Stop, stop. Green's in. Turn. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on, yeah. Pick Pick Dylan. Pick Dylan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push right. Push right. Push right. Keep giving 100 percent because. You know, at the end of the day, whether you win or lose, if you give 100%, then that's all you can really say. You, you walk away from it knowing that you did everything you could. There you go, Ari! Ari. Excellent, Ari! Yeah. Yeah. Her hard work sets her apart from a lot of players. I think gives her that leadership quality and that confidence, too. She has a lot on her shoulders because of it, because everyone looks up to her. We're the team that comes in, we're serious, we're motivated, and we're out to prove a point because I'm psycho. Her elbows? No, I don't miss those. As a person, Karen's tremendous of her relationships. She takes great pride in her relationships with her teammates. So just make sure that wherever the ball is that, you know, if it's on this side, that weak side, everyone is shifting over. She's very hard on herself, but I think it then sets an example to the players too of the standard that she sets as well, because she's so hard on herself that she's hard on other players also. Yes, they tied a lot of no turn! Now recover! Recover, Alana! Yes, in, Jenny! Yes, still in! Still in! Yep. Stop, Cat! Good key. Stay with, stay with. You know, doing whatever I can to help the future of the program. Recover, Katrina! A lot of, a lot of people aren't privileged enough to play at the Division One level, so the fact that I was lucky enough to get another year of eligibility. I really wanted to jump on that. She has been, even when we have recruits on campus that are juniors in high school, that she will never play with. She's one of the first ones meeting with them and talking to them. Um, and she's just committed to making sure that this program continues in the bright future. The regular season started frustratingly for NJIT. They were competitive, but ultimately lost three straight one goal decisions. One to nothing at Manhattan, two to one at Lafayette, and then a real heartbreaker, two to one at UMass Lowell, who scored the winning goal with one second left in double overtime. Time expires! As the team returned for their home opener versus Marist, there was a must-win feeling in the air. That's where it's starting from right the now, Red right? The Red Foxes the controlled the first 10 minutes, but then the Highlanders put it into high gear. At 28.30, Ari Gerber put NJIT on the board with a gorgeous shot from 25 yards out. 
The defense and senior goalkeeper Amelia Safferman played well throughout. In the second half, sophomore Fiorella Doglio set up a second goal with a free kick that drew a penalty. And then she converted the penalty kick herself for a 2-0 lead that would hold up. An important win for the team. It's going to be one of the best teams that we play uh, this season. So it just goes to show that, um, you know, those first three games and those losses, especially in overtime, you know, UMass Lowell, one second to go. Um, that's on us. You know, every game that every game that we've played so far that we haven't put away, that's on us. So from here on out, it's really in our in our hands whether we uh, take this all the way or not. We're a young team with a lot of freshmen and sophomores that are playing key roles for us. Um, so going into this game, we just challenged the girls this week that we're not down and out and they can't have that mentality that we're just growing. Uh, we got to start creating our own luck and that's what we did today. Everyone should be very proud. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great stuff. We work and we just keep getting better from here, guys. Take on three, one, two, three! NJIT backed up the Marist win with an impressive 4 to nothing victory over St. Peter's. Amelia Safferman was strong in goal, and four different Highlanders scored. Emily Heckman, Carly Burdan, Fiorella Doglio, and Brianna Hakos. Then NJIT hit the road for Fairfield, Connecticut. Noel Batista headed in the eventual game-winning goal in the 80th minute, giving the Highlanders their third straight win. Just two days later, they'd make it a program record four straight wins with a 3-1 conquest over Ryder. The win put NJIT over 500 for the first time on the season, giving them a 4-3 record. Could they keep it going versus Wagner? You bet. The Highlanders won their third road game of the young season by shutting out the Seahawks two to nothing. Ari Gerber and Christine Conaghy scored the goals and NJIT was flying high. Five straight wins. Hampton came to NJIT's home away from home at Kane University for the final game of non-conference play. And the Highlanders dominated with a three to nothing shutout. Nicole Baldassini had a goal and an assist, and Jennifer Callahan and Brianna Hakos added goals. Coach Allie Nick seemed happy with the team's progress. It's great for the girls. We've been up games, we've been down games, came back and won games. Um, so I think we've grown as a team over these past games in the non-conference, so it's been great to see. But as I told the girls, conference play is a whole different level. Um, everything's stakes are a lot higher. A total turnaround, six straight wins, which equals last season's win total with eight matches still to play. Tremendous progress for the program and positive momentum as the Highlanders head into their first Atlantic Sun Conference game versus Lipscomb. Back. Back on, one, two, three. on our final episode of Whatever It Takes, we'll follow NJIT down the stretch and see if they can accomplish their goal of making the A-Sun tournament for the first time ever. Keep it up. All right, we can do this. We're going to do this, right? Let's go, you guys.